<laughs> Here it comes. Here's where you show Sean. Bobo boy, balloon Bobo boy. <laughs> there, wait, 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 let me help you. You get, you get it fixed. Bend the pole this way. Yeah, this there, way. You there, there you go. go. Yeah. There you go. All right, uh, there. It's going to bend down like to the ground. Uh, <laughs> that is amazing. Hajime! <laughs> Please don't be mad at me. I know I missed one last week. So I'll make two this week again. Yay! I'm posting two because there's just too much uh, video I took. I have all the video from Vault in the Ville, which was phenomenal. I want to use most of it because a lot of it is funny and good. <laughs> and I also went crazy on filming my training uh, last week. That's what this video will be about. And the next vlog which will come out like a day later maybe, or the same day, who knows, I don't know how fast I can get these done. Yeah, this one will be this training. Next one, Baltonville. Here we go. So if you've been following these vlogs, you will know that I was overtraining really bad, and I was forced to take four days off. And let me tell you, Monday felt like, I felt like a new person. I was excited to train, it was fun, I could get through the whole thing, and I wanted to do even more, and I probably overdid it a little bit. Uh, sleds were really fast. <laughs> Took the sled off, I felt even faster. Uh, plyos went really well, even though it was into a 30 mile an hour headwind, so they were kind of blowing me backwards. Still fun. The multi throws felt really good. So yeah, and last time I was talking to you guys about this, I said it weights were explosive and fast. So here's a bunch of those. So everything's feeling great. I was Jack. Felt good. And then trying to keep from getting back into the overtraining thing, instead of doing a bunch of those recovery circuits, which I feel like I'm doing them a little too hard, and that's why the overtraining started to kick in. I just wasn't doing them the way I was supposed to, so I just didn't do them. And I played tennis with Carrie instead for like two hours. I kicked your ass with the long ball, huh? No. Yes. Yeah. yeah, look at that smile. You just don't even know. I'm still kicking your ass with the we just start. You started making up your own rules. I didn't make up my own rules. They're we just like made up the. Rules. We just made up no, the game, and then no. eventually you just start going. You have to let it bounce once. You have to let it bounce once. You can't be a barbarian. barbarian. What'd you call me? I said barbaric. Your barbaric moves. That makes me a barbarian. No. If I have barbaric moves. <laughs> <laughs> Losers first. <laughs> oh my gosh. One three. And here's my two favorite parts of tennis. One, Carrie decided she had enough when I... Instead of doing like a nice little underhand serve, I did like a big... <laughs> overhand serve. <laughs> it hit her right in the vagina. <laughs> she claims it hit her above the vagina like in her belly button, but it looked from where I was standing, straight vagina shot. And like threw her, dragged it down, walked away. I tried to get her to tell me um, what was what happened because I couldn't stop laughing. <laughs> Which is the worst time to laugh is when your girlfriend is super angry because you just overhand served a tennis ball into her for joy. And uh, she just kept saying, If you turn the camera on, I'm going to take the tennis racket and smash you in the head with it. So that's all I need to hear. And so I tried to keep the gigglies. Didn't make her too mad. Number two, I seem to always play longer than anyone else wants to just because I don't know if it's my energy or if I'm like, I don't feel shitty yet. I should probably keep training. I'm down. I told her that I would stand next to the fence. And she could hit a tennis ball at me as hard as she could. Ah! Oh my 
So how many tennis balls did we come with? Twelve. Twelve. How many are we leaving with? Eleven. Why? Because we hit one way over the fence and a baseball. No, let me tell you. Because I told Carrie I would stand against the fence and she could smack a tennis ball at me and I was going to use my ninja skills and block it. She hit it straight into that baseball game over the fence. <laughs> and then what did you do when you saw it go over the fence? Run? You ran away. <laughs> you told Not me. Not the tennis balls! You told me to hit it. Yeah, at me. Not at the little kids playing baseball. Um, and then on Wednesday we vaulted and my whole goal was just to keep my core really tight so I could keep my hips behind the pole a little bit longer and just do all the little California cues. And you know what? I was super frustrated and we were trying to figure out poles because when I did it right the poles were way too small and when I didn't do it right, like my back hurt and my shoulders hurt. <laughs> but kind of frustrating that... You know, at this time of the year, I think I should be like level 8 or 9, and when you have to step back to level 6 so you can get to level 10, it kind of hurts your brain. The best part was I was at the University of Minnesota wearing Penn State uh, bottoms because Bradford Lawrence sent me some stuff, and I don't think I ever thanked him for it in a vlog. Oh, my green pants were dirty because I have 20 of them. I don't know how they're all dirty. But uh, I wore the Penn State pants, and... Uh, Kate Nessie, I wore her shirt she sent me, and it was awesome. So thank you. Very, very much. Everyone always asks me who my sponsors are, and you know what? You guys are the closest thing I've ever had to a sponsor, because you guys are sending me stuff and being like, Hey, keep doing what you're doing, thank you, blah, whatever. So, this is my way, again, of saying thank you for everyone who watches, and pretty much being my sponsor. <laughs> so thank you. Boom. Last but not least, I'll talk about this more in the next vlog. I sprained my ankle the day after Vault in the Ville. But uh, that was frustrating and I didn't know if I'd be ready for champs. And yesterday I was like, well maybe I will be. Cause I didn't want to say I was going and then steal a spot from somebody who wasn't going. I don't even know if I'm in yet. Who knows what US Track and Field does. It's always confusing and you never know if you're gonna get in and it's just weird. After today, I think I will be ready to go because I can do all this stuff and it's only been four days. But um, I can already balance on this thing and bend over and do indo board and jog. And uh, there's some big surprises in the next vlog, so stay tuned. See you later. 10 jumps felt awesome, except the first 10 jumps that I did, I vaulted at Hastings High School and I bottomed out because they're pits. They got them my sophomore year, so not to age myself, but they're super old.